Alright, we're back in the shack and um, some people have obviously been watching my my videos on um, charging batteries. Now, I've had some, a few people ask me how do you charge a battery with a power supply and not a battery charger because a battery charger is obviously you know, meant for charging batteries whereas a power supply is meant to power things. But um, it is possible and you can do it. Um, I'll show you how I would do it. I don't use a power supply to pat to charge batteries, really, unless you know one of my char my charges are all broken or something. But uh, right here we got um, a 30 amp PSU, uh, there's a, a power star. Burn it off there. You can't really see that, but uh, soldering iron got a bit too close to it. It's a PS 30 m and uh, yeah. So I rigged up a little setup here just for the for this video. Um, we've got some wires here going along to this battery here, this car battery here. Um, so all you got to do is you got to get your get some wires. These are probably a bit too thin, but I suppose it depends how how low your battery is and how long you're going to charge it for. You probably want some wires about this sort of thickness, whatever this thickness is. I don't know, it doesn't say on it, but um, yeah, you get the idea. So you wire obviously the positive to the positive, negative to the negative, all that kind of stuff. Plug it in, and at the minute, the PSU is not on, it's off at the minute, but as you can see, all the lights are on, and the gauge is reading. Now the gauge is reading about, I don't know, it's just, over 10, just over 10 volts. Um, that's because that's reading what the battery is at the minute. It's not fully charged, but it's, uh, it's getting there. So you want to turn it on. And you'll see it's taking some amps. It's not taking many, but it's taking some, nearly one. And we've got it set to just below 13.8 volts. Now obviously you don't want to run it. Depends how quickly you want to charge your battery. It depends on the specification of your battery, really. Um, you know, you don't want to go run, chucking it right up to fifth. You don't want to go chucking it right up to fifteen because it takes a lot more amps, and there is a risk that you damage your battery. Although some battery chargers on fast charge do chuck in fifteen volts, but they're regulated chargers. If anything was to happen, they would shut off. Whereas a PSU wouldn't shut off. It would probably, well, the battery would probably just it would keep chucking power in. It depends on the specification of your PSU, to be honest, I suppose. But if I were you, I would stick stick it on thirteen point eight, or maybe fourteen. Probably about fourteen. It's got to be around there somewhere, in it surely? About there. Probably. Don't. And uh, as you can see, it's taken some amps, nearly one amp, roughly. And uh, yeah, just keep an eye on it with the PSU. Just keep an eye on your battery. Make sure it's not getting hot. Your PSU won't get hot. Well, it will get hot, but it won't get dangerously hot. I mean, this particular one's got a built-in cooling fan. But um, just keep an eye on it. And then when your amps go down, the the you know, if your battery's fully flat, like right away down, you'll find that it'll take a lot more amps. It might take five, depending on the size of the battery. And then when it gets down to zero, you means your battery is pretty much charged. And you stick a voltmeter on it and see what it's, see what it's at. If you have any questions about doing that or anything else, anything else that I can help you with, just um, just ask, and I'll make a video and let you know. I mean. Even if you don't, even if you ain't sure that I oh, know, just ask, just ask away, and I'll see what I can do.